in my house and on your screen. Thanks for checking out this video. I just want to say that I do not make money doing this. I do it purely to show off my collections and engage with other collectors on YouTube. And if you like this video, please leave a comment and subscribe. I'm going to show you exactly what I got recently at a collector show that I went to. If you'd like to see a little bit more about these collector shows that I go to, they are in Ontario, Canada. If you want to see videos about them, I will leave a link to their channel in the description of this video. Here is what I got. First, I want to show off this Man E Faces figure, vintage He-Man figure I got. Not from the collector show, but I recently picked him up from a thrift store. It's nice when you can find hidden gems out in the public like this. And I found this guy, and of course he has the different faces on there for any of you familiar with the classic Masters of the Universe line. And he's in good shape all around, so I got him. This Dr. Eggman, or Robotnik, however you want to call him, uh, from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. This guy is now very hard to find and goes for quite a bit online. And I only got him for a couple of bucks. And uh, I seen him as high as 50 on eBay recently. So that was a great find. I picked up this Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from the retro, the real Ghostbusters cartoon. I had this as a kid, but uh, wanted to pick it up again. So uh, he's in pretty good shape. Just a little bit of uh, paint chips on his red tie there. But uh, this guy too, I've seen him go for $40 or more online. And I was able to pick him up for about 20 So I thought that wasn't too bad of a deal. I got this vintage Luke Skywalker figure with the cape. Um, he is a little bit in rough condition as you can see his hand there has a little bit of paint off of it and his face on his nose there has a little bit paint off of it but I do have his blaster pistol and the little green lightsaber that comes along with him as well and I got him for about 10 bucks just because of the paint chips on his hand there and his face, he wasn't uh, the greatest condition, but I got it for the accessories and the cape. I do have an extra figure, so I'm just going to swap out the figure and put the cape on the better version that I do have. Green Goblin figure from the 90s Spider-Man series. I watched that cartoon a lot as a kid, and... Most of my collection that I have is 90s X-Men and 90s Spider-Man. I have quite a bit of both. So uh, I got him. And Shocker. Now I don't have uh, his Shockwave weapons, but uh, he's still a pretty cool figure from the 90s cartoon. Spider-Man villain there. I picked up this The Real Ghostbusters Janine figure also. I got from a uh, local collector. And I don't have a Janine figure. I have all four Ghostbusters and Slimer, including the Stay Puff that I recently just picked up. And this is one of the uh, Fright 
features figures and her feature is let me take these accessories off twist her around like that and there would have been a little ghost that plugs in the back here but I do not have that unfortunately but uh, pre press this little button on her chest there and her legs spin around another great find was this Naruto figure from a popular Japanese anime. Uh, these figures currently go for around $45 is the highest I've seen and they average around that online and uh, I was glad to pick this up for 10 bucks only and my sister, my little sister, is a big fan of this show so I think I might give that to her. Still in the package and there's a look at other figures that are in the line there. Last but not least I picked up these wind-up figures. Now I don't have any wind-up figures and I think some of them are kind of cool and I've been meaning to start a collection so I grabbed these guys I wanted to get the Pac-Man of course because I do like classic video games and I believe that this is made by uh, Tommy or Tommy T-O-M-Y company and he still works. Wind him up and he walks and you can see a little ghost in his mouth there and he opens and closes his mouth like that. This little bear or monkey with symbols. He doesn't work too well but I still think he's pretty cool. I'll see if I can get him to work right now. I don't know if it'll work for me. Yeah, this guy's in rough shape, but I think he's still kind of cool. He doesn't quite want to go for me right now. Well, you get the idea. But this guy, this guy still works. This little gorilla here with a banana, and he does backflips. I'll show you. So I thought these guys are cool. I'm going to keep these in my collection. <laughs> so I thought these guys are cool. I'm going to keep these in my collection and maybe look out for other little wind-up toys in the future. But thanks for checking out my video. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, tell me what you collect. Until next time.